What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, DMC Sports, back with another video. Tampa Bay Rays win this one, one to nothing. Brandon Lau with a beautiful home run. When that left his bat, I said, oh, yeah, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. That ball was gone. Um, the Tampa Bay Rays played outstanding. The The pitching was really good. Um, both sides of both side both teams their pitching was amazing uh, i feel like i feel like we could have did more damage to the p pitching but um the boston's pitching but their defense was r really good tonight um and you've seen it on uh, when um i think it was a rosa Arena. no i think it was a rosa Arena hit the ball in the middle of the field and one of the Boston Red Sox people made that unbelievable catch, a sliding catch. I don't know if it was a, a Rosarine. I don't know, but if he wouldn't have made that catch, we would have scored there. Um, Yanni Diaz with a beautiful hit. Um, I thought that was a home run in the first um, inning, but um, obviously it wasn't. Uh, we had some good hits off the first pitcher. But he was just he was doing some outstanding pitching and we just really couldn't find the right groove to hit home runs off of him, to get RBIs, base hits. We couldn't really do nothing off of him and the Rays. Um the Rays pulled this one off. They really did. Uh when I said in the last video how the Rays are right now, pitchers coming into this game versus the Rays, they got they gotta fight for each pitch. You can't you can't say, oh yeah, I'm gonna strike out this dude. No, everybody on the team is contributing. Everybody on the team is hitting. Everybody on the team is getting on base. So if you're the opposing team pitching. You gotta fight for every inning, fight for every pitch, fight for every ball. Because the Rays are the Rays are really, really, really good. Even the Boston Red Sox coach said that. So the Rays are doing really good this season. Um proud of the boys. I'm proud of the boys stepped up with this big win. Um, we got three more wins. Hopefully, we can sweep the Red Sox like we did the three other teams. But I know it's not going to be easy. The Red Sox going to go. The Red Sox are going to come tomorrow. They're going to come strong tomorrow. But we got Shane McClanahan on the mound, so I don't expect for nobody to be hitting too much off of off of him. Um, let's see if we can do damage tomorrow to their pitching, and let's close this. Let's close this um Boston team out. We got three more. Hey. If we beat them three more times, that'd be wonderful. Even if we come out of this, even if we're coming out of this three and one, I don't care. I don't care if we lose against Boston. Just come out of this. Just come out of this three and one. If you can come out of this four and oh, that'd be perfect. Hey, how this team is playing right now. They're playing amazing. Um, I know they're going to keep it up. They're in a groove. Um, and I feel like no one can really stop this team. It shows when you have a healthy raised team, even Jose Siri, he's out of the lineup right now because he had a hamstring pull. If he was in a lineup, that's more, that's more of a cont contribute too, because he's a really good player. Um, and I feel like if he's in there, That'll be more. He's more of a hitter too, like so. He he does more, a lot more damage. So you have a healthy Rays team bringing Jose Siri back. I feel like this will be like who would beat the Rays. Um, and I'm not just saying that because we won tonight. We're ten and zero for a reason. Um, even the teams who we went up against, they beat the really good team. So. You can't say we're going against um, clown teams. We're going against horrible teams. It's nothing like that. It's just the Rays are playing good. They're finding their bats. They're not relying on their pitchers like they did last year. So, um, 
So we're playing good. And um, the Tampa Bay Rays became the first major league team since the 1987 Milwaukee Brewer, Brewer, Brewers to to open up the season with 10 straight wins, getting a solo homer from the Brandon Lau in the eighth inning to beat the Boston Red Sox. One to nothing. I just love this team. No more you can say about this team. This team been playing amazing again. And Brandon Lau, thank you for stepping up to that plate. Thank you for thank you for fighting. That boy, that boy made that pitcher work for that. He made that pitcher work for and Brandon Lau, he hit the ball and hit his freaking ankle. And that man like sitting there holding his ankle. I'm thinking, oh dang. Like I hope that doesn't affect him, but it didn't affect him. It just made him stronger. So, enough of my babbling. I'm sorry. If you guys are Red Sox fans, I'm sorry. You shouldn't be looking at this. But, listen, tomorrow if we beat you guys again, I don't want to hear none of that clown stuff. Oh, go against real teams. Who? You, I feel like you guys are a real team. I feel like the the three people, we, the three teams who swept, they're a real baseball team. They ain't no minor league teams. So, enough with that clown stuff. Um... So oh, let's wrap it up this video. Um, the race played tomorrow again at seven forty. Um, Shane McClanahan's is on the mound with um for the Red Sox. Garrett Whitlock is on the mound. I don't know nothing about him. Shane McLean Shane McClanahan he's gonna be pitching up amazing. Um, Franco is coming in with um four home runs, um, three hundred and seventeen. Um, average uh, with nine RBIs. Um, a Rosarina, 359 average um, with um, 11 RBIs, two home runs. So, um, again, I feel like we're going to do good tomorrow and we're going to bring the bats tomorrow. And, and if we do that, a lot of good stuff will happen. The pitcher... Coming into um, Garrett Whitlock. Whitlock, I don't know if I'm saying his name right. On the Red Sox, he has 82 strikes. 82, um, 82 strikeouts. Uh, he's, he's good. I can say that he's good. We'll see tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. His record looks all right. We'll see tomorrow. All right, guys, if you guys like the video, like and subscribe and comment. Um, if you guys feel a different way about this video, I don't know why would you if the lightning is playing so good. Um, guys, just comment. Um, I'm always here. I'm always reading the comments when you guys um, comment on the video. So if you guys like the video, like and subscribe and um, share share the video to other people if I can get my name out and because I'm trying to be consistent for you guys and if you just um if you guys have any questions or if you guys feel a different way about the game just let me know inside the comment section and I will answer answer you okay guys like the video like and subscribe and thank you guys always forever go Tampa